All right, we're going to rank 292 characters for Marvel Strike Force, and this is the end of August 2024. And so the latest character uh, released to the game is going to be Endgame Thanos. So S tier is going to be the tippity top, you know, top 10 type characters in the game, best characters of the game. A is going to be very exceptional characters that are used in multiple game modes b is going to be exceptional or good characters in let's say two game mode c is going to be situationally good characters perhaps only in one game mode d is going to be characters that are up for a debate maybe they were used for somebody in one game mode or characters that are only used for their passive in one particular game mode and then f is going to be blitz only so at the very end of the video we're going to go and move things up and down uh we're going to do initial take at first and get through the entire 292 and then at the end of the video we will sort them a little bit more but to get started apocalypse it's going to be of course st character probably one of the best characters in the game without a doubt still using him in arena viable everywhere black cat is going to be an a tier character and the reason why I'm a big fan of Black Cat, she's very good, not only in Cosmic Crucible and Alliance War, but she has stun plus trauma, and she has the ability to remove revive on spawn. So I think she's going to be a good long-term character for plug-and-play reasons. Black Bolt is a part of the Illuminati, getting a lot of use of him inside of Crucible, of course, that's where they shine, but also inside of Alliance War. And in some ways, Newer teams and newer characters are going to be higher up on the list. And of course, after Ares came to the game, there was a massive stats boosting, specifically starting with Ares. And the team before Ares would be Illuminati, so they're not going to be as strong as Ares going forward. Coulson is going to be a good character only in Alliance War, so we're going to put him in C. And then right here we have America Chavez. Yes, I do use her on a weekly basis on defense inside of Alliance War, but I don't have to put any stats into her. She's very situational, so she's going to get a D. And then here is a Blitz or Blitz only character. So you can kind of see what we're doing here with this list based on what we just started off right now. Now let's go through the rest of it. So Bishop is a character that I'm technically using in two game modes every week. However, he doesn't really need the stats. And he's just a temporary usage with Extreme and Rogue to give a second taunting tank. He seems to be a situationally good character that doesn't need a lot of stats. So we're going to put him in C. Cosmo only gets used inside of Alliance War. So it's kind of a situational character. And then we've got Cloak and Dagger. And actually Cloak and Dagger in the category they may be dropped into D. Probably the next time that I make this list, they'll be in the D class, but right now I'm still using them inside of Cosmic Crucible. Carnage, getting use in three game modes for sure, and I'm a big fan of uh, Hive Mind. Uh, they're just very good. Raids, Alliance War, Crucible, we're going to put them up there in the A category. Captain Marvel is a part of A-Force, which is going to be a uh, Alliance War team. Again, this C tier is like, yeah, I use them on a weekly basis, but I'm not going to go all out with my resources unless I, I can. Or, you know, if I have extra resources, then maybe I'll pursue that. Black Widow, defense with the infestation team, you know, and, and so I'm going to put her in the C class. Ant-Man is also on that team. Now, Beta Ray Bill, um, and I got to say most of the Bifrost are going to be in this D category, but Beta Ray Bill is getting used also in Alliance War. So I'm going to give him a step up there to see. We've got some members of Gamma, which are still very strong inside of Alliance War. Agatha's a tricky one. Sometimes I use her on a weekly basis in, in either Alliance War or Crucible. Sometimes I don't. Because she can get some use inside of either of those game modes, I'm going to put in C. But again, that's a character that might be falling down to D. Absorbing Man. Pre-taunting tank um, sometimes gets used in Crucible. Also, because he's a pre-taunting tank, he gets put on defense inside of Alliance War as well. Captain Carter. Now, this was a tough one uh, when I'm thinking about Captain America and Captain Carter. 
I, I do feel like I get use out of them for sure in Alliance War, but it's situational sometimes that they're used inside of Crucible. Uh, I might, I'm going to put them towards the front here, um, but I, I was debating putting them in the B category. But uh, as we go through this list more and more, you're going to see that I'm actually pretty picky about S, A, and B because this is going to be the area where I think people... Uh, we'll want to focus putting resources into as these top three tiers and then the bottom three tiers and definitely not the F tier, no. So Cyclops, until you get old man Logan, he's useful on extreme. Um, sometimes he's used in defense. Now, I, I don't know. I, I feel like he pairs well with Forge and sometimes he's used there. So we're going to put him in the C, but actually I debated putting him in D mostly because old man Logan was just way better and that's fine. No, this is going to be controversial. I know a lot of people are using Infinity Watch on defense inside of Cosmic Crucible, but I think I didn't use them at all last week. I've stopped using them on defense inside of Cosmic Crucible. I'm using them as a sack team right now. So that means D. I know some people can make a case for C, and I understand that, but I'm not there. Same thing with Black Order. I, yeah, I've used them on defense, but yeah, they're definitely on their way out. And uh, going into this D category, we're just going to put Infinity Watch and Black Order in this D category. And this might surprise Sun. I'm also going to put Heroes for Hire there. I think a lot of people will put um, Heroes for Hire in the C category because they're used on defense inside of Alliance War. Um, we've stopped. Some of us have... You know, our, our war captains have come in and some people are putting Heroes for Hire on defense. I don't think this week. Oh, I know this week I don't have Heroes for Hire on defense. So they're on their way out. I'm going to put them as a D. Okay, so here's another character that, that kind of is in the same camp of Chavez. Um, sometimes you just need the speed and the turn meter inside of Crucible. So super situational don't need to put resources into him as well crossbones trash trash and you know what this guy's trash also i mean i guess i could put him in the d category i mean he's not the same kind of trash as these guys all right just because he's a horseman i'll put him in the d category this guy yes i've used him last week in alliance war agent venom but no it does not work well without a time he just dies and then the revive comes from her but I'm going to say that he is Blitz. All right. Unfortunately, minions in this game are all going to be Blitz characters. Not getting a lot of use out of any minions right now currently other than Blitz. Same thing with Beast. Uh, Blitz only. Same team thing with most of the old symbiotes. They're all just Blitz only. And I'm going to put Wakanda in that category also. I mean, there is some situationally useful. You know what? Let's we'll just give them a small benefit of the doubt and put them in here in the D. But I, I, I don't even know. Like a lot of these characters in this D cast, I'm, I'm some night, times not using on a weekly basis, and I'm not gonna. I'm gonna be say that most of these D characters here are gonna be blitz only characters probably shortly. If you think about it, every time. A new character comes to the game you know they're going to be in this top area towards the top it's pushing someone on the bottom down to blitz only invaders blitz only i mean th this is just a sack team only blob invaders this guy's bullseye's never been good colossus got a rework but we're not using him same thing crystal not great daredevil not great and here's a character on their way out and that's going to be Dark Hawk and the Pegasus team, with the exception of Kestrel. Kestrel I'll still put up in the more useful area, and I think Kestrel's going to be useful for a long time. But um, Dark Hawk is on the way out. You know, there's going to be a new tech raid team, and I feel like Bifrost is also going to be in this category where they're on their way out, and then once the replacement raid team comes, I'm not going to have a lot of use. Now, you can say that sometimes Pegasus is used in Crucible, sometimes Pegasus is used in Alliance War. Yes, but there are many times that I don't. All right, so Dazzler is not being used at all anymore. I'm going to put in Blitz only. Uh, Deadpool used for sure inside of Alliance War. This is a Blitz only character. Uh, this is an interesting character, but I'm going to put up here, but I know there's some situationally useful raid situations, but, and then there's also 
uh, Apocalypse Unlock. I, I mean, I, I could put in B, but I'm going to leave in C. Doc Ock! Yes! Sinister Six, I'm a huge fan. Doc Ock is getting use in Cosmic Crucible and Alliance War. Always very, very useful. Huge fan of uh, Sinister Six. Most of the Sinister Six... And Superior Six team is going to be in this B tier. Now, there are going to be some exceptions where they're just used inside of Alliance War. But I'm even getting some use right now inside of Raids in the Tech Nodes. Because the Orcus Tech Nodes are very hard. And until we get the uh, the Nimrod Sentinel, the actual Orcus Tech team, uh, I'm still getting use out of Doc Ock. Now, I don't know which Doctor Strange is. is. But I'm gonna, I'm gonna say, is, is this the, I can't tell. Well, we'll come back to this. I think this is the OG Doctor Strange. You go down here, you go down here. These are just Blitz characters. Doom, ah, I know people are gonna say, no, he's not that good, but I end up using Doom. The problem with Doom is that getting him to drop under 50% when you want him to, or having him not die, when he does go below 50% is kind of tricky. Um, I think he's a very good character. And as long as he's giving turn meter to the highest attack character on the team, that's going to be a good thing. A lot of the new teams now are having anti turn meter mechanics. So uh, that's why we're going to put Doom in the B category. Dormammu, I feel the same way. Uh, Dormammu, yes, does a lot of cool things on offense with the revive especially paired up with Undying, but there's a ton of anti-revive mechanics out there. We've had two characters recently uh, come to the game that have anti-revive mechanics. So we're gonna put Dormammu in the B category for sure. Very useful. Drax, Blitz only. All right, we're gonna put you here in this D category because we're gonna steal that. And then Echo has an anti-assist mechanic so sometimes that's useful, but no need to put stats on uh, Echo. All right, um, useful inside of Alliance War. Trash, trash. I wonder if there's gonna be a rework. I'm just thinking, you know, they're gonna have some sort of Night Stalkers team. Uh, so, you know, I, there's rumors of Blade and whatever. So um, I'm, I'm curious if, if that's gonna be uh, a reworked character and will be moved up to the list. Emma, useful for sure, um, but don't need to little, put a lot of stats into them, so we're gonna put Emma in that category. Falcon is situationally useful, but I have not, well, I haven't used this guy in a long time, just for the turn meter on the special. Trash! <laughs> All right, we're gonna put you in uh, Cosmic Crucible, you know, useful there for sure. Forge, oh boy. I uh, didn't take him into Dark Dimension 7. Uh, still useful in raids. Boy, this is tough right here. Um, I kind of feel like Extreme is an A team. And I'm going to put Knights... Um, oh, Nightcrawler up here for sure. I feel like I'm going to put Rogue up here also. And maybe even Gambit. So we're going to put you right here. Uh, but that's a tough one right there. Uh, between uh, A and B for sure. I'm going to put Gambit. Uh, Gambit's probably a B also, but I just like Gambit. No, I got to put Gambit down here also. Gamora, you're going in the D. Ghost is Blitz only. Uh, Ghost Rider Blitz only. Robbie Reyes, still very useful in two game modes. Um, love this guy. Very good in Cosmic Crucible and Alliance War. Ghost Spider. Now, uh, we're going to get to more of the Spider Society. Most of the Spider Society is going to be in this A category. Ghost Spider is the first one to get dropped off the list. Still getting a lot of use out of Ghost Spider inside of three game modes. That would be uh, Raids, Crucible, and Alliance War. But is, the in, you know, my opinion, the weakest... A spider society and I didn't go crazy with uh, stats on her all right blitz green goblin classic not even a doubt that's going to be an a character very useful and I think there may be longer term plug and play situations uh with green goblin classic Groot 
trash. All right, we're going to put you up there. So, uh, you know what? We're going to put you down here because, again, uh, each, she's the one that gets dropped off the team first. And the three of the, 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 the hive minds that stay on the top are going to be Carnage, Red Goblin, and Void Knight are all going to be A. All right, one game mode character, and that's going to be uh, Crucible Trash. Oh boy, we got minions right here. All these minions are trash. So unfortunately, Hawkeye's trash. So is uh, Heimdall. Hela gets used inside of Alliance War. So does Hulk. There we go. Trash. Trash. Oh boy, we got a bunch of trash here. All these minions are trash all the way. All right, so... Icarus is an interesting one. Um, we're going to put Icarus up here. Turn me to removal is uh, is still a thing. And the combo in, of Cersei and Icarus still gets use inside of Crucible and in Alliance War. They're getting power crept out, though. And so there may come a time where uh, Cersei and Icarus... Now, I did get use good use out of them in Dark Dimension 7, but that part of Dark Dimension 7 was the easy part, so... I don't know if I need to upgrade them anymore. All right, Invisible Woman, nope, 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 nope. All right, this is on their way out, but we're going to put them next to their Darkhawk friend. Iron Man, oh boy. I'm going to put Iron Man here in this D category. I have used Iron Man with Illuminati, and if you don't have Captain Britain, this would be up a tier right, right here. But I have Captain Britain... So I'm not using him, um, but there are some situations where I can take Captain Britain and put Captain Britain on a like you know, another team just to like counteract the turn meter on Super Scroll, and then I bring in Iron Man to fill out the fifth on the Illuminati without Captain Britain. And if you don't have Captain Britain, I think uh, you're going to get some use out of him. All right, again on the way out, um, I'm not using. I mean, this is not using her at all um sometimes in alliance war not using jubilee at all not using juggernaut ms marvel hard light don't like ms hard light as much as robbie nor black cat but i have to acknowledge still very useful in crucible and alliance war king oh boy i'm gonna throw king up there and i know that king Probably, I mean, I'm, I'm sure there's some people that would say Kang would be a B. Um, still top, top, top dog inside of Crucible. And that uh, extra turn meter on spawn, you know, similar to that of, uh, Ka you know, Cable right here. He's basically Cable that can do damage and everything. And he's super important inside of Crucible. I think he's going to be good just for his passive for a long time. So I'm going to give him an A. All right, Karnak, no. Uh, Kate, no. Well, you know. All right, we get use out of Kingpin inside of Alliance War. We got Kitty Pride not getting used. Oh, boy. And then Korg is only useful in uh, Alliance War. Um, we're going to put a lot of the, the Sinister Six in this B category. Uh, I just get a lot of use out of him for sure. Cream minion, nope. All right, so we're going to throw all of these cream minions into the blitz only category. Lady Deathstrike uh, is getting a rework. And so, um, and she, and she's going to be useful for sure in Alliance War and raids, right? Because going to go on the Orcus team. What I don't know is this Orcus team going to be bonkers in and dominant in three game modes there's a chance once the rework goes live uh that lady death strike uh, will be an a keep in mind that she will have post aries stats so i'm not sure if this is going to be an a or a b but this is going to be a thing and we're going to put in b for now maybe an a later lizard definitely a b uh, so much use for Lizard. Man, I just love the superior and Sinister Six teams. Loki on the way out. We're going to give Loki a D. Team Loki also a D. Um, this Bifrost team is going away forever. Um, I, I, 
I wouldn't, I don't even know if I want to put them in a D. Like, they're going to be blitz only characters so soon. All right, long shot. Um, Heroes for Hire on the way out. On the way out. Madeline Pryor, no use. No use. Magneto. I'm not using Magneto. That's which is kind of sad. Mantis. Boy, Mantis was good for about two weeks. Never really got a time to be good. No. Maria. Mbaku, no. Minions. Okay, we're going to dump all these minions right here. Uh, right here, we've got um, another member of Heroes for Hire that's going to be uh, on the way out, in my opinion. Uh, useful inside of uh, useful inside of Alliance War. Moon Dragon, I think, is going to be not that useful going forward. So that's where I, I think Moon Knight is getting a rework. Don't know. Don't know. Moon Knight. I don't know, but we don't know what that's going to be or how that's going to look. But just keep that in mind. Moon Knight potentially could be up here, at least, you know, in the B area at some point. All right, we're going to put you in a the C class. Oh, boy, we're, we're expanding our list. Morbius, no. Morgan Le Fay. Get, I get use out of Morgan Le Fay. And I feel way better about Morgan Le Fay than I do... Archangel. So, you know, you'll see what I'm what I'm doing here where um, you know, where I'm gonna put the horseman going forward. Mr. Fantastic! Oh boy, you're going right here for sure. Absolutely good in Crucible and inside of Alliance War. Mr. Negative, good inside of Alliance War. Mr. Sinister is not being used. Not being used. All right, Mysterio. Mysterio going way up here. I love Mysterio. Mysterio is a solid B up there with the rest of the Sinister Six for sure. Not being used. Nakia is there with War Dogs for sure on the way out. Namor. Oh boy. Namor is up here. Either A or B. We're going to do A. We're going to do B. I did use Cabal. <coughs> inside of Dark Dimension 7 in Global, but it was kind of a mess. It really was a mess. Um, it was just not that great inside of um, the Global section. So I, 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 I don't know if I could justify giving Namor higher than a B right now. For sure, the, the uh, uh, Cabal is getting used in Crucible and Alliance War, and they, of course, shine inside of crucible all right let's put um nebula over here no no nick fury no no nico yeah we use nico inside of alliance war there we go nightcrawler all the way up to the top um the reason for that is the synergy with old man logan and mutants in general with a special and great sustain <coughs> at least an A. Best of the extreme. That's going up there. All right. Night Nurse is Blitz only. Nobu is used inside of Alliance War. Nova. Pretty good. Not as good. Definitely a B. You know, I'm, I'm get used out of Nova inside. Um, I mean, mostly Nova is used inside of um, uh, Alliance War. But I, I do think Nova is a step up than Cosmo and all of that for sure. Koye is going to go over here with the rest of her friends. Omega Red. Ugh, I barely use this guy. He's good in war for sure. So we're going to give him a C. Phoenix. Ugh, on the way out. You're on the way out, Phoenix. Barely get used. All right. Photon. Useful. Oh, boy. Photon's a tough one. I don't think Photon's as good as her friends up here. Like Ghost Rider, Ms. Marvel Hard Light. Or would you put you down here? Let's put you guys next together. We got we got to keep the friends together right there. All right. We've got uh, Infinity Watch right here. All right. And we got more Blitz characters. We've got, what is this right here? This is more Black Order. All right. We're going to scroll down a tad. So the C won't be showing. But we, we, we will go look at it when we get there. Blitz only, Punisher, Blitz only, Pyro, Blitz only, Quake, Blitz only. Ooh, Quicksilver. Boy, Quicksilver's plug and play good. 
Hmm. I like this guy. I really do like Quicksilver. I'm going to put Quicksilver in this B category. Love that guy for sure. And I was debating whether or not putting Quicksilver in the A category or not. All right. Minion, 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 Red Guardian. I am a big fan of Red Hulk. I think Red Hulk is the most useful of the horsemen because of the synergy with Apocalypse and use inside of Crucible. Very effective. Morgan Fay seems situational. Uh, Archangel is useless in my opinion. And I'm going to put Rogue up here as well. Rogue is very useful. Uh, still getting a lot of use with Extreme. Red Skull on his way. Actually, he has a limited use with Cabal inside of uh, Crucible. But nothing uh, to, to write home. Again. We got Rescue on the way out. Rhino, oh boy, situationally useful, but inside of Alliance War. So we're going to put Rhino in a C category. Rocket is not great. Rogue, we're going to put you right next to uh, Red Hulk. Uh, those are my two favorite horsemen, Morgan Le Fay. And then uh, down here, we've got Archangel. Ronin, not good. Um, you, you're useful inside of... Alliance War. Let's put you next to your friends. There's your friends right there. All right. Sabretooth is useful inside of Alliance War. Uh, Captain... Oh, this guy. I don't use this guy at all right now. He's on his way out, unfortunately. We got more trash characters. Scarlet Witch. No. I'm, I'm not using Scarlet Witch. Scientist Supreme. Don't know where Scientist Supreme is going to be. Why don't we put... We know there's a rework coming... For Lady Deathstrike and a Scientist Supreme, uh, I think they're going to be pretty good, useful, not only in raids, but potentially in Crucible and Alliance War. So we're going to put them up there on the B in advance of that happening. Scream, not great. Cersei, we're going to put you right up there uh, next to Icarus. Keep in mind, I think Icarus is better, but it's pretty much a duo. Got to use both, right? Sanchi on the way out on the Heroes for Hire team. Carter, no... Long shot, nope. Um, yeah, I guess we'll put you here with your your gamma friends, but not a lot of use there. All right, we're gonna dump all of these minions right here. Um, we're getting some use for Shocker inside of Alliance War, so we're gonna put you next to Rhino, and we're gonna try to get the mutants. Uh, let's see, we got a mutant friend or um, Sinister Six friend right here next to each other, so they're all together. Shuri on the way out nope that is a blitz only character this is war defense only oh silver surfer stat boost right silver surfer got stat boost uh he's a post aries character i don't think he's as good as ultimus nor is he nowhere near as good as the other three annihilators which are going to be at the end of this when we get there but I want to acknowledge that I'm using him. I, I just don't know now that we've got in-game Thanos. So th the main thing is, is that, let's say, like, Gladiator's passive needs three of them to get the, you know, anti-vulnerable, anti-exposed mechanic. I think we were using Super Scroll just for that reason. I'm not sure if this is a B or a C. All right, let's just give Silver Surfer the benefit of the doubt. I'm not sure. All right, 2099 is a function of Weaver, so we'll put C. All right, Trash. Oh, boy, we're running us a big-time Spider-Man, and then we're getting close to the bottom of the list. Big-time Spider-Man I'm using in two game modes. We're going to put you in the B category up here. No war. Oh, boy, we're going to give you a, a, a C or a... Are we going to give you a B or an A? You know what? I'm going to give you an A. All right. So this is the reason for that. Um, Noir is somewhat plug and play. And uh, he gains turn meter by like positive effects on the enemy. And so he's been super useful in Crucible and Alliance War. And he's right now currently good in raids. Yeah, I think I'm going to have to give Noir an A. For right now and I, I think he's also 
Uh, Spider Society, anyways, is going to be a top pick right now for Dark Dimension 8. Punk. All right. You know what I kind of want to do? Let's just throw all of these characters here. <laughs> yeah, you might get used sometimes. Um, are we just going to throw some of these Blitz characters in here, right? Oh, my God. Oh, okay. So this, this is the other Doctor Strange. All right. We're going to put that up there. Where was that Doctor Strange? We're going to yank you out and put you in the bottom list. I, I know I got that wrong earlier. We could find, I don't, I can't see him, but I know this is the Doctor Strange. Um, let's put you up here with Agatha. And the other Doctor Strange should be a Blitz character. All right, we'll, we'll figure that out here in a minute. All right, uh, I'm just trying to pull out all of the Blitz only characters. Um, symbiotes. Um, we're not using Star Lord. We're not using that Thor anywhere. We're not using Toad anywhere. We're not using Miles anywhere. Invaders are no good. Rebirth on the whole is no good. Uh, Visions not being used. Neither is Viv. Uh, War Machine, no. Uh, White Tiger, no. Winter Soldier, no. Um, my girlfriend, Yondu. Uh, what else we got here? I think there's uses for most of these characters down here because they are the newer characters. So that is going to be a thing. All right. Spider Slayer is going to be very good in at least two game modes. Again, I'm going to put this up here with the rest of some of the Sinister Six. And then we've got Weaver also going all the way up here. Big fan of Weaver very useful here so that's going to be a b tier uh useful in one game mode so we're going to put uh spider woman in the situationally c category good in one game mode so she's used on offense and then what do we got star nor star lord annihilator only good inside of alliance war so we'll put you right there in the c class as well strife no sunfire well sunfire is used in raids now and also in Alliance War, right? <coughs> Excuse me. So we're going to put two game modes right here. Uh, up here in the C. All right. Sunspot. We're going to put Sunspot in the B category. With some of the other extremes. So we're going to put that here. Next to Gambit and Forge. Super Scroll. Not even a question. Boy. We're going to take you all the way to the top. Super Scroll is going to be an S tier character. One of the best characters in the game. All right, Swarm, useful in one game mode. So we're going to give you a C. Kestrel, anti-charge, still does some damage. Useful in as a plug-and-play character. So we're going to put you in the B category. You are on the way out. Void Knight, for sure, up here at the top. Um, getting use out of these guys in three game modes, for sure. Taskmaster used in one game mode, so we're going to put you in the C uh, with the rest of the Underworld. Uh, OG Thanos on the way out, so you're going to go into the D. Thing, useful in one game mode. I'm going to put you up here with your friends here. Um, Thor, useful in one game mode, so we're going to put you up here in the C category. Tigra, one category. Titania, one category game mode green goblin classic one game mode ultimus oh boy this is a fun one ultimus is situationally good for sure i'm gonna put you next to silver surfer but <coughs> for me he's situationally good he can delete pre-taunting tanks I'm going to put him up there. I'm going to give him an A. And that might be a controversial. I think he's a, a strong B, a weak A. All right. Ultron. Oh, boy. C. <laughs> One game mode. Vol. Oh, my God. I know this is a DD7 character and there's some use in Crucible. I got to, I'll give him, I'll give Vol a B up here with the likes of these up here. I think there's some people that would say Vol needs to be dropped down to C, but I'm going to give Vol benefit of the doubt. Uh, useful in one game mode. So, Bifrost, Vol, Beta, and Valkyrie are useful in war. Her passive helps um, uh, 
Vol and Beta Ray, but she doesn't need to be upgraded. So I'm going to put her in that same category of like Chavez and, and Cable down here. All right. Ne uh, Venom is the weakest of the hive mind and usually the first to be dropped. So Venom is going to be a C. Vulture for sure is up here with the rest of his, his um, Sinister Six friends. There we go. All right, on defense in war would be Wasp. All right, here we go. Wolverine, good in two game modes. We're going to give you a B with Alpha Flight. <sighs> Boy, I, I could give Wolverine a C. Um, Wongers, <laughs> let's put you with the rest of your Dark Hold friends, um, which is going to be a C. Where did I put them? I don't remember where I put them. Let's see. They're up here somewhere. There we go. C right there. X-23, Defense and Alliance War. Uh, so we'll put you in a C. Wasp, Defense and Alliance War. Yo-Yo, not being used. Zemo, getting used in Crucible with Cabal. Um, I feel like that's a situational, situa situational situation there with uh, Red Skull. There you go. Um, Zombie and Iron Man and Juggernaut are both uh, pretty much one game mode. Nah. Alliance War, sometimes Crucible. Yeah, I, we got to leave him up here. Hella's in here as well. There you go. Black Knight. Now we're getting somewhere. All right. Black Knight, without a doubt, is up here at the top in the A category. Very strong. Black Knight is amazing. All right. Cosmic Ghost Rider. I'm using Cosmic Ghost Rider in two game modes big fan of cosmic ghost rider so we're gonna put cosmic ghost rider up here in b um crucible and also in alliance war very effective red goblin also useful in raids so we're gonna put red goblin with his friends up here at the top and those are gonna be the three symbiotes right here and then we've got the other symbiote there and then the other one is is much down further and, and just getting used i mean venom gets yanked right away uh, so we're going to put Venom in the C category. All right. Starbrand. All right. Two game modes. So you're going to get a C. Um, all right. So here is the rest of the Cabal. We're going to put you up here with Namor in the B category. Here we go. And Mephisto. Best character in the game. Any surprise there? Leader up here with namor where we go where you got namor namor is right there so here we go in the b category Dokken, uh useful in alliance war so i'm going to put him in the c class old man logan um even though ooh, what do we do there uh sylvie's on the way out d old man logan is s tier um even though gore came to the game and he's not being used in arena doesn't matter he's in his own category old man logan is amazing in so many different ways easily s tier in my mind and gore coming to the game does not matter to me panda pool pretty much just one game mode so we're gonna put you in a c all three all three of the spider societies are gonna be a so we're gonna just kind of tricky to get it to the top not uh, easily up here a a amazing same thing with peter all the way up here to the top and good in multiple multiple game modes raids crucible alliance war gonna get used these guys are gonna get used in i used them in dark dimension seven people are gonna use them in dark dimension eight for sure <clears throat> alpha flight two game modes crucible mm, three game modes we're gonna put them in the B category. Um, also, these all three of these right here have plug and play uses: offense up, revive removal, pre taunt. So they are good in three game modes. So that's gonna be B. And then we're gonna put you up here next to them. And then we're gonna go all the way up here. Put Sasquatch. And then um, here are the Illuminati. 
and I think those are very strong right now. Um, and I, I want to put them, I, they're just so strong in Crucible and in Alliance War that I'm going to give them Bs, all three of them. Um, so we're going to put you up there. And I think that these three, well, Captain Britain for sure is up here. I'm going to put Hank and um, Shuri. Well, no, Shuri does things. Shuri has plug and play useful. Yeah, you know what? They're all three of them are up there at the top. Um, This one here, I mean, I think Captain Britain's up here at the top. I think Shuri's here at the top. Um, I think these are going to be popular for DD8. Uh, people have told me that they that, that they were okay in CID DD7. Uh, we don't have full farmability on these, and, you know, so I don't have them maxed out at seven stars. I think they're better than I think they are. Uh, so this is a tough one here between B and C, though, for me. All right. We've got... Let's do Ares. Uh, I do think Ares is good for sure in Alliance War, but his anti-safeguard mechanic could make him good in other places. He has boosted stats. I am torn between putting him in B or A. Also... I will say this, we don't have stars on him yet. I really don't know how effective this guy is at 7-7. Seven, seven. My opinion could change on this guy. And, and once I get the passive, um, his uh, awakened passive, maybe I'll like him anymore because that gives the anti-safeguard mechanic similar to Apocalypse. Jury's out. He very well may be an A. I'll tell you this. He's a B today, but he might be an A later. I'm just going to put him in the A category because he has the boosted stats, and we're going to give him the benefit of the doubt. These three here, um, for sure, Ingbeam, Thanos, all three of them. All three of them are uh, S tier right now. Um, I, I We haven't got to play them a lot right now, but I've been playing them inside of Alliance War and in Crucible. And they seem super, super effective in all game modes. So there is my list uh, right now. I, and I just want to focus here on the top of the, the curve right here. The S and the A and the B. Because this is where a lot of characters can be justified upgrading depending on what you're trying to do. And various game modes. Fisto. Apocalypse, Super Scroll, Old Man Logan are easily S tier. And right here, I suspect that they are S tier also. The three piece annihilators just seem so good with their anti vulnerable, which in their anti exposed mechanic. But the anti vulnerable, when he's above 50%, is insanely good against a lot of other teams that depend on vulnerable. You know, it just makes for a good day. And then also, Pre-taunting tank that comes with safeguard defense up you know, is amazing. Anti-revive, anti-battlefield effects, anti-charge. And then in-game Thanos has anti-safeguard. And they have the post Ares boosted stats. All right. Hive Mind, um, very good team in, in three different game modes. And these three are the dominant ones. We also got Black Cat for plug and play ability. Green Goblin Classic for plug and play ability. And very good with his team. Kang plug and play. Nightcrawler, I think, is going to be useful for a long time, plus the insane synergy with Old Man Logan. Noir, plug and play, goes in so many different places. And I'm just a big fan of the, the Spider Society team right here. Ghost is the first one to get dropped, so she's down further on the list. Black Knight, probably at the top of this list. I mean, there was a time where I think I put Black Knight up there. Um, I'm going to put Black Knight on the top. I'm going to move Black Knight up to the top. Yeah, I, I think Black Knight is just up there. On another level uh, for sure uh, he's just too good um, so I'm gonna bump black knight to the S tier I'm making the decision Aries not really sure red Hulk and rogue S keeping red Hulk here because of the synergy with uh, apocalypse inside of crucible of course gamma is very good in Alliance war rogue continues to be a mainstay on mutant teams extreme um, rogue is slotted into the extreme team uh, to pair up with Nightcrawler and friends. And so the extreme team is all over here, right? So extreme, we've got Gambit. 
uh, Sunspot and Forge. I, I could make a case for them to being in the A, but I like them right here. Got a lot of use out of Cabal. Right here, we've got the new Orcus team. And so these, these characters are going to get stat reworks and, and Scientist Supreme is going to have a slight modification to their kit. We will see if this is an A team. It's possible that the Orcus team could be an A team. I suspect that the three new members, you know, Sentinel, Omega Sentinel, and Nimrod will be A, and then these two will be B. That's kind of the way it goes. The new characters are at the top and the reworks are a little bit lower, you know, right there. That makes sense. Um, again, Illuminati, very good. Um, I think that Captain Britain could be moved up a tier um, like this. Yeah, let's just do that. We're going to move Captain Britain up there. These three, I think Shuri could be up there too. Oh, I think these three could be. I better put those three up there. I'm moving them up to the A tier. I'm moving them up to the A tier. Yeah. Um, we got to level this out a little bit. Like it's a little bit too uh, bottom heavy on this this list so i just want to move them up and say that they're they're very good been very happy with them and then we have uh, a lot of the sinister six members there and this particular grouping of sinister six uh green goblin at the top um you know in the a tier but they're all b they're useful not only in crucible and alliance war dormammu and doom very useful and then we've got the, the leftovers now i you could say robbie's up there hmm Robbie, Robbie, I'm moving Robbie up. I'm going to move them up. Um, I'm going to move Robbie up to this here with Black Cat. I, I just like Robbie. Robbie was super helpful inside of Dark Dimension 7. So I moved him up there with Black Cat. Okay. See, so yeah, that's what I said I was going to do. I was going to change some things around. We got Ghost Spider, which is kind of like the least important, in my opinion, of the Spider Society. And then right here we got, um, she's just not as good as these three. Uh, with the hive mind, Cersei Icarus, Quicksilver, you know, these are all great characters that ha are useful in multiple game modes and situations. I found them to be good. Cersei Icarus, Quicksilver, Silver Surfer, Weaver, Big Time Spider Man, Kestrel Vol. Oh, so we've got Alpha Flight here, Cosmic Ghost Rider here, Alpha Flight. Um, hmm. I'm going to drop Wolverine down. I, I do feel that strongly about these these three uh they might even be a little bit higher but i don't feel that strongly about wolverine we're gonna drop you down for now um wolverine is useful i guess in raids alliance war but sometimes he gets pulled out i guess he could be used on oh this is tough yeah i'm gonna put wolverine down oh, no i don't know again wolverine's one of those characters that could be either place right so um that is my general take uh, you might have some opinions on what should be higher and lower. Let me know in the comic section. And as always, thanks for watching and keep on giving. Bye for now.